Hello and thank you for joining me today. This is Julie from Bubbleberries Craft and I'm a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator here in the UK. And today I have a lovely little box for you. Um, and these hold a couple of rose wax melts. Um, they're a nice size. They measure 3 inches by 2 inches with a height of an inch. And I'm going to show you how to make these today. So to start you'll need a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this needs to measure seven inches by five inches and before we do any scoring or anything we're going to do some stamping and I'm going to be using the Painted Petals stamp set which is a two-part series um, and I'm going to be using two of two and this um, stamp set here which I've already got prepared on my block and I'm going to be using Blushing Bride ink today. So just taking your stamp, just randomly stamp across your paper, filling in all the areas. Just keep going across your paper. Randomly, filling in any little gaps that you might have. There you go. Then, once you've done that, we can then bring in the scoreboard. And don't worry about any of the sizes, any of the scoring, or any of the details. There will be a link below that you can click on that will take you straight over to my blog, and all the details will be there for you. So with the long side in the top of your scoreboard, we need to score at one, three, four, and six inches. Then turning your card so that the short side is at the top, we then need to score at one and at four. That's all your scoring then done. And we can move that to one side and just come along and using your bone folder just burnish all of the scores that you've just made. And then as you can see on this box, we're going to put a window into the front of it and by doing that we're also creating a nice little thumb grip here so that you can open the box easier. So to do this, <clears throat> turning your cardstock this way, just fold in one of your end edges and then I'm using the large oval scallop punch and I'm just going to pop that into the first square area and just lining it up, eyeballing it and punching, you're then taking out the centrepiece and you're also taking out a little bit from the other edge um, for your thumb hole. You can take that away now. Right there. Um, so there's your hole and then you've made your thumb grip. We then need to put a little bit of window sheet on. Um, so I've got a piece here and this measures two and a half inches by one and a half inches and to pop this on I'm just going to use some glue dots in the corners of the window sheet and then we can pop that over the window and stick that down so then that gives you a nice window area. And then taking a pair of scissors you'll see that you have four score lines that run up the first score line across here and we just need to snip all of these top and bottom. Turn it around and do exactly the same on the 
other side. Last one. There we go. Right. Now we can start building up the box. This is obviously going to be your lid part um, and this obviously your base. On all of these tabs that you've just made we're now going to put some adhesive on. Um, you could use sticky strip, Tombow, um, for the speed I'm going to use snail today. So just go along and pop some adhesive on all of these tabs. And then we can start building this up. I normally start by building the base first and just bringing in the tabs and the side to meet to start creating that box. And then you can move this part back out of the way so that you can finish off the base just by lining up all them sides. that then is the base and then we come along and we do exactly the same for the lid. Line them all up. And that then is the box built and you've got your inbuilt thumb handle too. And then we can go on to decorate. <clears throat> so today um, I'm going to be using a round array um, for my sentiment and I'm going to be using Kayers for Kindness down here. I'm going to be using the um, Blushing Bride ink again. So we can just stamp out one of them and then using my 7 eighths of an inch scallop hole punch just punch that out. And line it up. There we go. And then taking some blush and dry cardstock to match with the inks that we're using. I'm going to be using oops, the uh, modern label punch and just punching out one of them. And then while I've got the cardstock here, I'm then taking the itty bitty flower punch and I'm going to punch out three little flowers too. And I'm then going to bring in my sponge mat and pop my flowers and everything up onto there. Um, and using a ball tool or the back of your paper piercer, just run that in the centre of your flowers just to make them all pop up 3D. And then as usual with me, I'm taking my rhinestones and I'm taking a small rhinestone and just popping it all into the centre of the flowers just to add extra detail. And then on the modern label punch you can see you've got this rounded edge on either side here. I'm just going to take um, another couple of rhinestones but a larger size and just pop them on either side. Then we can start building this all up. So taking the dimensional and popping it on the back of your sentiment <clears throat> and then just leave that to one side. Another couple of dimensionals and onto the back of your modern label. Then bringing back in the box, we can position this on. And I've been doing mine at an angle just across the window. So when you're happy, stick that down. Then take in the sentiment and just pop that onto the centre of the label. So that's all looking pretty and then we can come along and we can put the flowers on and using glue dots again just turn all the flowers over and then taking the glue dot 
onto the back of the flower. You can position them where you like, but I've just been clustering mine sort of bottom and the top. So position another one at the bottom there. Take another glue dot. And then the final one I've been putting up close to the little sentiment that we've put on there. I'm just positioning that there. Pop all the petals up. <clears throat> and that's the box completed. And I've got another two rose wax melts here. I'm just popping into the box. And that's it. That's the box all complete, all done. And I think they've got a lovely romantic sort of feel to them. They uh, really are sweet. So thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, bye bye.